Hey guys, welcome back to another video. And if you're new here, my name is Edward Smith and welcome to my YouTube channel. And in today's video, we're going to be looking at some Audio-Technica headphones, comparing the Audio-Technica ATH M20Xs to that of the M30Xs, the M40Xs and the M50Xs to hopefully help you find the perfect pair of headphones for your home studio setup. So before we jump into things, I'd first like to remind you that if you are someone that's interested in home studio gear or home studio equipment, or you want to set up your very own home studio, this channel is for you. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button down below, click on the bell notification so you don't miss any of my future uploads. Secondly, if you are interested in a pair of these headphones after watching this video, I will leave some links down in the description below as well. And then last but not least, make sure you watch all the way till the end of this video, just so that I can give you my final feedback on each pair of headphones and who I think they're best suited for depending on budget and skill level. But without any further ado, let's jump into this video and see what these headphones are all about. The first pair of headphones that we can have a look at are the Audio-Technica ATH M20Xs, which are in my opinion the best studio headphones you can purchase for under 50 bucks. Costing around $50, these headphones come in an all black design that feel extremely light and soft on the ears. In terms of frequency response, the M20Xs range between 15Hz to 20kHz with a driver diameter of 40mm. The next set of headphones that we can have a look at are the Audio-Technica ATH M30Xs, which are in my opinion a great option for those looking for an honest sound. Costing around $70, these headphones come in a black and silver design with a pouch for on-the-go travel. In terms of comfort, these headphones feel light and comfortable on the ears. In terms of frequency response, the M30Xs range between 15Hz to 22kHz with a driver diameter of 40mm. The next pair of headphones we can have a look at are the Audio-Technica ATH M40Xs, which are one of the best home studio headphone options one can go for. Costing around $100, these headphones come in a black and silver design with two different detachable cables and a pouch for on-the-go travel. In terms of comfort, the ear cups feel super soft and the headbands not too tight either. In terms of frequency response, the M40Xs range between 15Hz and 24kHz with a driver diameter of 40mm. And the final pair of headphones that we can have a look at are the Audio-Technica ATH M50Xs which are my go-to pair of headphones for music production and mixing purposes. Costing around $150, these headphones come in a beautiful black and silver design with three different detachable cables and a pouch for on-the-go travel. In terms of comfort, the ear cups feel super soft with a twist for resting around the neck. In terms of frequency response, the M50Xs range between 15Hz to 28kHz with a driver diameter of 45mm. So now that we've gone through these headphones in terms of overall look and design and features and accessories, it's time to move on to the actual comparison between each pair. And starting off with the price, the ATH MX20 is coming at $50, the MX30 is coming at around $70, the MX40 is coming at around $100, and the MX50 is coming at around $150. So as you can tell, it's getting more expensive as you go higher, and there's a lot of reason for that. Starting off with sound quality, the Audio-Technica ATH M20 X's sound fantastic for under $50 and they're probably the best pair you can get for the price with an amazing sounding mid-range, a decent high end, decent low end and a great balance for those of you on a budget. When you move on to the Audio-Technica ATH M30 X's you're getting a little bit more mid-range, it's a little bit clearer but the overall build and quality and feel of the headphones don't change too much. When you move on to the Audio-Technica ATH M40 X's in terms of sound quality you have that very nice mid-range that you get with the ATH M30Xs but this time you're getting a little bit more low end so you're getting a nicer balance and I think that's the reason why a lot of people prefer these headphones even over the M50Xs for good sound because the low end is decent, the mid range is decent, the highs are decent, it's nice and flat and that's the way you want it. Whereas when you move on to the Audio-Technica M50Xs they are a lot brighter than the M40Xs so a little bit more in the mids, a little bit more in the highs and the lows are pretty much the same. 
Moving on to comfort, the Audio Technica ATH M20Xs are really comfortable on the ear. They're nice and light. They do have a little bit of a hard cushion, but overall you can definitely wear them for at least an hour or two before noticing and getting irritated with them. Whereas when you move on to the Audio Technica ATH M30Xs, they're a little bit more sturdy, a little bit heavier, and a nicer fit, but it's not that much of a difference from the Audio Technica ATH M20Xs. But when you move on to the Audio Technica ATH M40Xs, you definitely feel a lot more premium quality in terms of the build and the feel on your ears the cups are a lot softer and overall you're going to be able to use them for a longer period of time but when it comes to comfort the audio technica ath m50x's are just in a different class they are super comfortable the ear cups the ear muffs everything is super soft and you can wear these for very long periods of time before you really notice any irritation or anything like that just because the overall build and the quality of everything working together makes them a really comfortable pair of headphones to wear. And the last comparison that we're going to make between these headphones is focused on accessories and features. And starting off with the Audio Technica ATH M20Xs, these are really the standard pair of headphones that's mainly focused on just giving you a good sounding pair of headphones, no extra bag or cables or anything like that. That $50 that you're paying is all going into the headphones. Whereas when you move on to the Audio Technica ATH M30Xs, you do get an additional bag. And when you move on to the Audio Technica ATH M40Xs, you get a bag. You get two different cables, one coiled and one just standard, and they are detachable and your ear cups are able to turn one way. And then last but not least, the Audio Technica ATH M50Xs that come with three different cables, one coiled, one extremely long for the home studio, and a shorter one for just general listening when walking around also detachable and ear cups that could turn both ways unlike the Audio Technica ATH M40Xs that only turn one way. So that brings this video to an end of my comparison between the Audio Technica ATH M20Xs, 30Xs, 40Xs and 50Xs. Just a reminder that if you are interested in any of these products, I will leave them linked down in the description below. If you have any questions about today's video, just leave a comment down below and I'll try and get back to you as soon as I can. But other than that, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please do give it a thumbs up and if you loved it, subscribe down below and I will see you for another video next time. Yeah.